Pew, 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 pew. Yes, today, guilty of making a gun-like hand gesture. I'm dual wielding, I guess. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> uh. Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation. Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. All right, so let's get into this. So in the news today, we're gonna to talk about this Pennsylvania man that was found guilty of making a gun-like hand gesture uh, toward a neighbor, and it was a crime, the court rules. So let's uh, flip through this story real quick here. I'll read it to you guys um, as quickly as I can, then we'll talk about this. A Pennsylvania court ruled Tuesday that making a gun-like hand gesture is a crime after a man made the hand motion during an argument with his neighbor, an act which reportedly made several nearby residents nervous and prompted a call to the police. <laughs> this is this is crazy. Uh, Stephen Kirchner, 64, made the gesture towards his neighbor in Manor Township in June 2018, according to surveillance video. Surveillance video of this horrible crime. Uh, Kirchner walking alongside a female neighbor stopped, made eye con contact with the male neighbor, and then made a hand gesture at him, imitating the firing and recoiling of a gun, according to court documents. So, pew, pew, like that. I guess he did that. Um, so, obviously, these guys were having some issues, right? Let's, uh, let's dig into it. The action made one neighbor feel extremely threatened, and he called 911. Another neighbor said he saw Kirchner put his finger up like he was going to shoot the neighbor, uh, and that made him feel insecure, prompting her to call 911. So several people saw this hand gesture. I'm not sure if this hand was loaded. I don't know if this hand had a suppressor on it or what the deal was. NFA, we don't know. Um, Kirchner and the female neighbor... Kirchner had been walking with previously had issues and confrontations sparking the neighbor to install six security cameras on his property. At the time of the incident in 2018, the female neighbor had uh, no contact order against the neighbor who felt threatened, court documents indicate. So uh, it gets complicated. Obviously, they had issues. Kirchner was issued a citation for disorderly conduct following the incident. He said in district court he made the gun-like gesture after his neighbor gave him the finger with both hands. So he gave him like a double finger, whoop, whoop, like that. That was real fast. That was like a fully semi-auto double fingering that, <laughs> that his neighbor gave. I don't know. I'm just making it up. This is funny. This is really funny. Um, so, <laughs> so his neighbor, he says, gave him the, the birds, both birds. And that's what made him you know, answer back in that thing. Um, the 64-year-old was found guilty but appealed, arguing the hand gesture didn't create a hazardous or physically offensive condition. Kirchner said he didn't mean to cause a public alarm and there wasn't really any harm done to the neighbor or others. On Tuesday, however, the Superior Court of Pennsylvania found the gesture served no legitimate purpose and recklessly risked provoking a dangerous altercation. Kirchner was ordered to pay a hundred dollar fine and court costs, of course. So, um, I hope this doesn't end here. I hope that he actually takes this up to the Supreme Court because, as uh, some of you might have seen in the news, I think this was sometime, this was earlier this year, the Supreme Court ruled you can flip someone the bird. So there's an issue, there's an issue of that, um, so, so they, I think they found it's uh, freedom of speech, so definitely that. I don't know if this situation would come under freedom of speech and the Second Amendment. I don't know, you know. Just joking. Maybe it's brandishing under the Second Amendment. Maybe you, I didn't know you could brandish your hands, but this is a little crazy. This is a little crazy, and um, I do want to get into it because the, the Supreme Court uh, ruled that a raised middle finger is a form of free speech. A court has ruled, I'm, I'm reading this, this is from um, different articles that are out there, um, allowing a lawsuit by a driver who made the vulgar gesture at a police officer. So apparently, there's a story here, I'll pull this up, this is an NPR article, police officer can't pull over driver for giving him the finger, court rules. We can get deeply into that, but basically from my memory what happened was, this woman got pulled over, and the officer, whatever it was he pulled her over for, he gave her a warning. And she wasn't happy with that, so she flipped him the bird. She gave him the finger, you know. And uh, he saw that and then wrote a ticket for that. And I guess she's suing him, and the Supreme Court ruled that um, 
you know, she can sue him over giving her uh, a ticket because she flipped him the bird. This is a little bit different. These guys panic because someone did a finger gesture. The kids do this all the time. I remember growing up as a kid and we would do that kind of thing. It's really insane to think that now we're living in a world um, I know I've seen it before, like schools have zero tolerance, tolerance policies and kids even making a gun, uh, a gun gesture with their hands get in trouble. Now it's, it's uh, spreading out to adults and this is the insanity that we're dealing with, a hand gesture. And one, the other neighbor gave him, flipped him the bird. We're just talking hand gestures. It hasn't gotten bad. It hasn't gotten to the point of um, actual violence or threatened violence or anything like that in my opinion. Um, actually, this all reminds me, there's this, there's this kind of like uh, video that kind of went viral of these two guys in New York City and they're mad at each other and they're flipping each other the bird and they're, you know, just like escalating the flipping of the birds, you know, they're making it more um, flowery and, and, and just doing all kinds of gestures in the street. And I thought that was really funny and it's also a way for people to get their expressions out without, without hurting anyone. Now, can it... Can it get really bad? Can people wind up getting into shoving matches, punching matches, fighting, kicking, fighting each other, and maybe like actual guns get drawn or knives or whatever? Absolutely. But are we that far gone in our society today that one neighbor just doing a hand gesture like that to another neighbor has become such a bad thing. Lots of people do that just when they see their boy like, yo, what's up, man? You know, people, people just do that thing sometimes, right? I think it's one of those things, like what was the intent behind it? Like did you intend to insult the person behind it or just like, hey, what's up? Or hey, I got you, like that, you know. What was the intent behind it? But regardless of what the intent is behind it, I think all of that should be covered under freedom of speech. And people are getting a little crazy here to start calling 911 over a simple thing like you make a gun gesture. I don't know, what do you guys think? Let me know. Leave your comments here. Um, you know, I, I think it's insane. Let me know what you think. Do you agree with the courts here? Do you think this guy should take it all the way up to the Supreme Court? Do you think it's going to win? Do you think we have just totally lost our minds now in society? I do. But go ahead. Make your comments. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to thumbs up. And ring the bell so that you can be notified whenever we post content. I'm Hank Strange. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Oh, hand gesture coming. Peace. Pew, 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 with peace with pew pews. What can I say? <laughs> See ya.